What's going on YouTube, Giosno right here, so in today's video I have a great tutorial for those of you who missed the signing window for iOS 11.3.1 but still want to be able to use the Electra jailbreak that will come in the next days. So if you're running iOS 11.4 or iOS 12 beta and you would like to use the iOS 11.3.1 or 11.3, 11.2 jailbreak that is coming in the next days, there is still a possibility to downgrade to 11.3 that a few people know about, so I'm going to show you how to do that. The procedure is to pretty much downgrade to the iOS 11.3 Beta 6, which for some bizarre reason is still signed to this point. There is absolutely no reason why it's still signed, but it still is, and you can downgrade to it and pretty much be on iOS 11.3, even though iOS 11.3 and iOS 11.3.1 are no longer signed for ages but you will still be able to downgrade, which is something you should do right now if you want to do it, because I'm pretty sure Apple will definitely patch this once they learn about it. Anyways, in order to do it, you have to go ahead here on the iPhone wiki and download the beta IPSW. Unfortunately, there is no tool that I'm aware of that can check, at least not online, the status of the betas, whether they are signed or not. So you cannot check whether it's still signed. You're going to fly blind, but yes, you can test this. So this is for the uh, iPhone and this is for the iPod Touch. There is also for the iPad and the links will be in the description down below. Now what you need is to pretty much go ahead and search for your model. In my case, it's an iPod and it's iPod Touch 6 and look for the iOS 11.3 Beta 6, which is this one in here. This one is still signed, only this one and the Beta 3, but I recommended the Beta 6 since it's pretty much the same thing as the the release version of the 11.3. The latest beta is always called the Gold Master, which means that it's identical to the 11.3, for example, or the release. So you will not miss out on any features and it will not be buggy. So you're pressing here, download the IPSW and restore it normally as you would restore any IPSW. I'm going to demonstrate that real quick. Anyways, there is a problem. You're going to see this since it's a beta and since that beta is no longer you know, new, you're going to see this every time you unlock your phone, which is very, very annoying. It's a pop-up that says that a new iOS version is available and you should update. It's nagging you constantly, but I do have a fix. So do not worry about that. I'm currently coding a fix in here that will pretty much get rid of that pop-up forever. So you will be able to use the iOS 11.3 beta just like you use any other version of iOS. So do not worry about that. And I'm going to show you now how to restore. This is very useful if you are on iOS 11.4 or iOS 12 beta. If you are on a lower version like the iOS 11.2, uh, 11.2.1, 11.2.6 and so on, there is no need to do this. This is only useful if you missed the opportunity and you are on 11.4 since the Electra will not work in order to jailbreak the iOS 11.4. So this is how you do it, you open the iTunes, but first you're going to need to connect your device and use this program called RecBoot in order to put your phone in recovery mode. You can of course do this manually by you know using the home button and the uh, power button, but this software is easier and it's available for both Windows and Mac. You press enter recovery after you connect your phone and it will reboot your phone into the iTunes or recovery mode. You're going to see the iTunes logo on the screen so I'm going to wait for it. Yes, there we go. And of course we got this pop up in here. I'm going to cancel it, um, close this one, open iTunes. And you should keep in mind that using this procedure, you will not be able to retain your data. So before you do this, before you put your phone in recovery mode, do a backup of all the important data. I'm not liable for any data loss. So um, we're going to go ahead and press restore iPod, but there is a catch. You're going to need to press alt at the same time if you are on a Mac, or of course shift if you are on Windows. So I'm going to press Alt since I'm on a Mac and keep Alt pressed and then press Restore. This will give me the opportunity to select a file that I want to restore instead of downloading the latest version. So I'm going to select the iOS 11.3 Beta 6 one and I'm going to press Opening here. It's going to ask me if I want to restore. I press OK. Keep in mind, as I said, 
it's not possible to check whether it's still signed and Apple might patch this at any point now since this version of the iOS 11.3 beta should not have been signed at this point in time. I have no idea why they kept it but it's your last chance to get Electra and to get on iOS 11.3 and I thought I should make a video because it's very very useful for those who missed out on the you know opportunity to downgrade. Now if you do have the iOS 11.3.1 blobs saved you you will be able to use a tool that I'm going to link in the description down below to set your nonce and then to restore the iOS 11.3.1 even though it's no longer signed because you have the blobs. So if you want to do that, you can do that. But if you do not have the blobs signed, stay on this beta because it's essentially the same thing as the iOS 11.3 since, as I said, the beta 6 is equivalent to the gold master which is pretty much the final release now we're waiting for this and the only way you can test to see whether apple patched this or not is in here at this point the phone will restart and it will tell you it will give you an error if apple patched it or it will continue with the restore if it did not i'm going to show you where is that step so the phone restarted, it says preparing, and there will be some check with Apple. And at that point, if this has been patched, it will fail the check and your phone will restart. Or if it's still working, it will continue. This is it. As you can see, it says verifying iPod restore. At this point, if this proceeds, this means that the bug is still available. The iOS 11.3 beta 6 is still signed. And as you can see, in my case, at the time I'm making this video, it's still signed. Even though if you take a look, Going ahead in here, iPod Touch, iPod Touch 6, you can see that iOS 11.3 is no longer signed for quite a long time, and so is iOS 11.3.1, so I wouldn't be theoretically able to restore this, only to 11.4, but as you can see, I'm restoring with no problem to iOS 11.3, because that specific beta, which is not accounted for on this website, unfortunately, this is only for releases, not for betas, is still signed. I do not know how much time will Apple keep this but it's very important to do it right now because tomorrow it may be too late and it's your last chance to get on the Electra hype train. So I'm going to be right back after the restore completes just to show you that everything works fine. All right, so as you can see, it finished successfully. It said that it's been restored and we're waiting now for it to restart and we will be able to configure it. All right, so at this point in time, since I do have backups for this iPod, I can actually restore my data back or set it up as a new iPod since I do not want my data to be restored. But in your case, you select whatever your fancy. So I'm going to press continue and at this point, I'm going to press get started and there we go. You can see that I'm running iOS 11.3 in here. And of course, this is on the same iPod. You can check by the serial number in here. I didn't swap the devices or something like that. So anyways, this is how you do it. Do it right now while it's still possible. And thank me later. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.